We just finished our first block of filming where we were boondocking. So what that means is basically we weren't at a serviced site. We were staying uh, at our own private location. So we had no electrical hookup or no water hookup. How do you feel it went? It was okay. <laughs> we learned quickly that the way we have been living hooked up here at my sister's uh, is not the same way we can live when we're traveling. Well, I knew Sorry. That. I'm the one yes, that had okay. to learn that lesson. I had to shower and wash my hair and use a hair dryer. And the fact when I was like, I have to dry my hair with a hair dryer, I thought his head was going to explode. In my defense, it was very cloudy, so solar wasn't optimal. Right. And in so, the future, we can take the generator so you can use the hair dryer to your heart's content. What I'm saying is we're figuring it out. He bought a solar panel with a battery, which we were using, and it was pretty good. It was good. Yeah, when the sun came out, it really did charge up quick. So next time when we go next week, we're going to take the generator. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit of fine tuning. Yep. So a month ago... Water conservation is the real issue. More than the battery power? Well, with the generator, we can use as much power as we want. See, Can't the... make more water. Yeah, I guess that's true. But we can buy water. You can buy you jugs... shower of... with? Well, just in general, like, you can buy jugs of water from... Oh, I was never worried about that. Yeah. We can get them from things like that. That doesn't worry me. Same with drinking water. We Showering. Can, yeah. And we actually decided we're going to get a jug. Uh, we have a dehumidifier in here that obviously fills up a good bit of water. So we're going to start putting that into a jug that we'll take with us just conservation-wise. Fill up the toilet, use it for Yeah, that's else. not drinking water. No, it's not drinking water. <laughs> I've, I definitely found it a hard transition to go from total plugged in service life to not. Not that we couldn't do it, but I don't have the hair that dries nice on its own without a hair dryer and we're filming. And the very first year we filmed, I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to take a hair dryer. I'm not going to take a styling tool. <laughs> like we're living in an RV and we're camping. Yeah. That lasted like the first week of filming hours. and I'm like, I look insane and I'm not doing this. So yeah, that doesn't happen. But I'm trying to modify the irritation in him though, on that first two days where I'm like, well, I want to be able to do this. And if we're going to live this way, these are the luxuries that I want. We're not going to live that way though. We're not living off grid. No, I'm just saying it was a, it was a teaching moment for us both. What did we learn? We learned... <laughs> to bring the generator. <laughs> yeah, we have to bring yeah. the generator. Yeah. We have the cherry cans anyway, so... So, like, a month ago, you asked me how... What percentage happy I was in the trailer. What percentage happy are you? Depends on the day. That's so fucking true. So true. I don't care. I'm dropping an F-bomb. This Whoa. is mine. I just watched him struggle and swear with the fridge... Because, which we haven't showed you, but I will, the fridge is quite deep as opposed to, like, wide, and, you, and it's narrow to have more storage, so... I'm annoyed, but I should be proud of you because you stocked up on a shit ton of my oat milk because it was on sale. Which I appreciate, but I will appreciate it more when we have the garage with the fridge to handle the overflow. This is what we're currently struggling with. So we're like, if something's on sale, we buy a lot of it. Or we would shop at Costco on things we use a mm -hmm. lot of. Mm -hmm. But we cannot do that now. And we're still kind of struggling to figure that out. So I want to take advantage of the deals, but I don't have space to take advantage of the deals. Yeah. I get frustrated with the cabinets. We have these great clear containers, but they go two back and they're stacked. So if you need something in the back, as you're taking stuff out, stuff's falling down and oh, you're trying to get it. We also need to be more... Super, mindful of what we even yeah, like have in here yeah kind of just took everything and then we're making it work but but there's stuff we like almost never use i wouldn't say that uh, okay what stuff do we almost never use if you say the spices i will backhand you on this camera you use those once in a while yep <laughs> but no i mean there's stuff in here that i put in those clear bins that i don't think we use much it's true. And a lot of it's because it's buried in the back. Like, there's wheat thins back there, and I'm like, nope, can't be bothered. I should eat those. I know. I forgot they even exist. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're working it out. We are Moral not... The story is, no matter how little space you have, you still find nooks to stuff things that you forget about. <laughs> like delicious wheat thins. <laughs> stuff your nook. No. Oh. 
know. It's definitely got its growing pains, but we are... How many really months in are we now? depends. It's four months. Five. Really depends on how tired and irritable I am. Normally, it's fine. And there's little annoyances that it's like, that's fine. And then other days I'm tired and cranky and I want to just burn the whole thing with myself in it. <laughs> I mean, that's drastic. But I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm glad you can see that, though, because... He goes from zero to 60 real quick. But then back to zero again real quick. I mean, yeah, you do. It's a quick around. boil over. Yeah, it's true. And Kettle then, whistles and yeah. then it's done. Yeah, that's a very accurate analogy. So that's our update thus far. Let's see how we evolve as the season goes on. Deep I am surprised how little power the whole thing uses, though. Like, when we're trying to not use much power, it's like a light bulb to run the fridge and everything in here. And Not to, a modern light bulb, like an old, yeah, like, like your grandma's old light bulb. To go back to the hair dryer, he gave me five minutes on a low setting. I set the timer on my watch, and I used four minutes and was satiated. I was surprised at how little energy it used. And then the next morning, After giving me shit. you were like, well, no, it's still a big draw, but it's for a short time. The next day when you're like, oh, I left two slices of toast out for you. I was like, I don't know if we have electricity for toast. And the toaster uses See, more than that, the hair dryer. That I don't love. Yeah. That's the stuff we have to figure out. What uses how much and how we can get by. Because I don't ever want to be like, oh, I can't have toast. Because I mean, we could, but I'm just like paranoid. He's really paranoid, yeah. I mean, I appreciate that you care and you're monitoring that, but your uh, miserliness goes beyond your wallet. But that's why we take the generator now. 